It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Tuesday, the 3rd of September. I'm Michael Groff. Hot and mainly dry conditions to continue for the next several days around here. Temperatures not only above average, but pretty close to record highs on several days, especially tomorrow through Friday. And as for any rain chances, well, they should be virtually nil, at least until this weekend. And at that time, we could see some widely scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms over the higher terrain of northern or eastern Arizona. But as for rain chances here in the lower deserts, well, as we've mentioned on previous videos, I think you can pretty much put the monsoon season to bed for 2024. All right, let's get into it here. The almanac from yesterday, 108 degrees the afternoon high. 85 the morning low, 104 and 82 are the averages for this time of year. Outside now just after 12 noon, sunny sky, 102 degrees at Sky Harbor, 2.52, humidity 19%, a light wind, the barometer is steady. And with that temperature surpassing 100 degrees once again, we've done it 100 straight days now, 100 consecutive days with a high temperature 100 degrees or higher. I want to point out the previous record was 76 consecutive days back in 1993. So this is a record that every single day we are tacking on to. And there is no sign that this streak is coming to an end anytime soon. Just another of the many, many heat records we've established here in 2024. All right, taking a look at the upper-level weather pattern across the nation. Why is it so hot here across the southwest? Well, of course, high pressure is in control. And it is sitting in a position that is just not favorable for bringing any monsoon moisture into Arizona or the southwest at large. Uh, generally, a southwesterly flow is in place. And look at that on the water vapor view. Just very dark here over the southwest. That's indicative of virtually no moisture. And... That's going to be how it is for the rest of the week. High pressure will remain around here. Upper heights will crest around 594 to 597 decameters tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. And that represents the upper 99th percentile of climatology. So it is going to be very hot. And again, we'll see some more records falling by the wayside. The watch warning map, we've got a, an excessive heat warning here for Phoenix, South Central, Southwest Arizona, the western part of the state, Southern California, Southern Nevada. That is in effect from 11 a.m. on uh, Wednesday through 8 p.m. Friday evening. And so that uh, just tells you how hot it is going to be. We could see high temperatures, at least here in Phoenix, getting close to 115 degrees by Thursday. And some of the hottest deserts of Southeast California, Southwest Arizona, won't be too far away from 120. Elsewhere, we've got some issues, uh, red flag warnings across the West. It's just super dry. Obviously, uh, not only is it has it been dry here this summer across Arizona, but most of the Western United States with below average precipitation. And given the above average temperatures we're experiencing, obviously that sets the stage for the potential of wildfires now further to the east across parts of texas they've had heavy rain some flood watches going on there so they are getting some much needed rain and we'd love to see that but no sign we're going to see that anytime soon around here convective outlook for today north of the state there is a marginal risk of severe storms from around the great salt lake over towards cheyenne gillette wyoming great falls montana Maybe a few severe storms with some gusty winds, but any thunder north of the state today. Precipitation outlook. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing statewide, not much. Generally, one-tenth of an inch or less, and that's mainly for the rim country, parts of eastern Arizona, as we are not expecting much in terms of precipitation. Now, anything that we do see could happen on Saturday, perhaps Sunday, a few isolated storms will be possible, and we'll outline the details of that and everything else right now. As we get to the models, see what the future may hold. Here we go. This is the GFS. It's the 12Z run, and it's valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. High pressure is in control here across the southwest, basically sitting right on top of us. The upper heights around 594 decameters. What it means down at the surface for the rest of the day today, sunny, hot. Highs anywhere from about 104 to 108. Obviously above average. 
For tonight, clear sky, upper 70s to upper 80s for the overnight low. And then tomorrow, more the same. Sunny, very hot. Highs 107 to 111. Thursday, this is likely the hottest day of the forecast period. Highs anywhere from 110 to 115 here in Phoenix. Uh, The official forecast high from the National Weather Service is 114. Uh, The National Blend of Models, I believe, has us at 113 or 114, depending on which run you're looking at there. Uh, Whatever, 113, 114, 115. Uh, It's just going to be absolutely blazing hot. And so, and no real sign of any precipitation across the state either. Uh, Any rain chances will be well east of us across uh, parts of Texas and the Plain States. Uh, We should stay dry. And that's going to hold for Friday as well. Dry conditions, hot, sunny, highs, uh, anywhere from about 108 to 112. Now, over the weekend, the ridge weakens a little bit, takes a position more to the north and east of us. And a trough is beginning to develop off the Pacific Northwest coast. And we could see more of a southerly flow developing for at least a little bit of moisture coming back into the area for some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms across mainly northern Arizona. I just don't see a scenario in which we get any precipitation out of that. Uh, the moisture fields just don't look very good. Uh, looking at you know forecast soundings here, uh, still too much of a, of a capping inversion here in the lower deserts, too much warm air aloft, and just uh, moisture would still be minimal. So the rain chances up north, not much to be found here, mostly sunny. Temperatures will back off a little bit, a couple more degrees. I'd say highs uh, anywhere from about 105 to 110. We'll drop it a couple more degrees on Sunday. Highs falling back to around 103 to 108. And again, some isolated showers and thunderstorms across northern Arizona. There might be something along the international border, far southern or southeast Arizona. But again, here in the lower deserts of south central Arizona, just doesn't look like we would see anything out of that. And even the storms that fire up elsewhere across the state would just be widely scattered in nature. Your uh, chance of running into a storm probably only in about the 20 to 30 percent bracket even there. Let's go to Monday. We're still looking pretty dry. Interestingly enough, the GFS tries to pull a little bit of moisture here into southwest Arizona and uh, down there toward the Gulf of California. Maybe a few showers and storms down there. Uh, I suppose that's possible, but at this point, again, we're going to keep the forecast dry for us. Temperatures should uh, still probably be above average, anywhere from about 103 to 108. Go to a week from today. This is Tuesday, the 10th of September. Pretty strong trough that sits right there along the Pacific Northwest coast. And in that scenario, we're dry. Upper heights are still somewhere between about 588 to 591 decameters. So we're still hot. Maybe not quite as hot, uh, but high temperatures would remain above average in that uh, setup. Highs still 105 plus. And going out 10 days, this is Thursday, the 12th of September. And again, we're still dry. Uh, Troughing to the north of us, moving uh, through the Pacific Northwest. And ridging would still be the primary weather feature around here with, uh, again, upper heights still a little bit above normal. So temperatures remain above average. There's no sign that we're going to break that streak of days over 100. And... There's really no sign of any reprieve in terms of precipitation chances around here either. Uh, In that setup, southwesterly flow would be around, so we would stay hot and dry. And that's why I say this is really the end of the monsoon, because we, we look at this kind of a pattern, and once we start to see this evolving in September, and no sign of the ridge really being able to reestablish itself over the Rockies or north of Arizona across Utah or near the Four Corners... Uh, and with more persistent troughing and stronger troughing along the Pacific Northwest coast, it's just a sign that we really won't see any more monsoon moisture. Now, does that mean we can't at all and that it's done for sure? No, but historically speaking, that's kind of how it looks. All right, looking at rainfall for Phoenix off the GFS Ensemble. This goes out through the 17th of September. Check out the control member up there at an inch and a quarter. Boy, that'd be nice. 
but uh, the control member is smoking that uh, that model that model goodness. Uh, it's gotten into something. It's gotten into the stash because really the ensemble mean is only around a quarter of an inch. It's biased by a couple of extremes in the members. European ensemble is about a quarter of an inch as well. And again, uh, there are a few outlying members on both the European and GFS over the last couple of runs that have shown some kind of extreme values out here. Uh, but I would tend to discount those as outliers. Now, we're going to watch model trends and see if moisture could come back out here beyond 10 days. But right now, as I sit here on September the 3rd, it sure does not look that way. All right, checking out temperatures off the national blend of models. Again, just downright hot, and that's going to continue uh, for the rest of the week. And then by this weekend, I mean, even even though temperatures will lower a couple of degrees, we're still going to remain well above average and close to record highs uh, all the way out through the next 10 days. And probably beyond that, those overnight lows. And this is, again, in the mid-city. This is Sky Harbor and downtown Phoenix. We're, st- we're going to be in the 80s. Now, for those of you outlying valley areas, especially as we get in toward uh, this uh, this weekend and next week, overnight lows again drop in the 70s. But uh, we're still going to, for the most part, remain above average. So no sign of any reprieve from the heat. No sign, uh, no significant sign of any precipitation around here. All right, that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And if you really like what we do here, then click that thanks icon below the video here on YouTube. Make those monetary contributions to us, or you can donate directly via PayPal. Groffshow at gmail.com is that PayPal address. It is G-R-O-F-F-Show at gmail.com for PayPal. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. Talking about my Michelle, check her out. Check out her videos and everything Michelle related linked up down in the description. And our streaming station, available 24-7, 365. It's called KMGX, whereupon we play a ton of music and have a lot of fun with that. So I highly encourage you to give that a listen as well all right uh that's it thank you guys so much for watching really do appreciate it please be safe stay cool stay hydrated out there and have yourselves a beautiful rest of your tuesday 